Yeah, that's why I do it. <laughs> we are live. And what I do, Sandra, is um, I wait for people to start logging in. I can see that because they get messages. They get the message, Ron is live. So rather than expend a lot of energy um, going off in the beginning when I know people are just logging on, I see the first people logging on. They all know we're going live at nine o'clock. So we're seven minutes beyond right now. But as soon as I see their comments, then I know we're good. Thank you for joining us, hon. Oh my God. Of so, oh, Angelique. Angelique is one of the first to log in. Daniela, hello from Antwerp, Belgium. Wow. I love the way everybody, Patrizia from Calabria, Reggio Calabria, thank you. Jimmy Carnelli from <laughs> outside of LA. Ciao, Jimmy. I miss you, my friend. I miss you. Um, and now, they, now they start talking with each other. Oh. That's funny. From Belgium, hello. From Vegas. Wow. Tony from Vegas. Wow, we have a big collection of people tonight. We're so Brian. Cool. It's the whole freaking world. That's the cool thing about this. Turkey. Berchen. Berchen from Turkey. We even have Devin DeVasquez is in the house, everybody. Yay. So uh, Angela from the United Kingdom, uh, Tina from Oz from uh, Australia, nice. from uh, Ma Manuela from Stuttgart, Germany. We got God, everybody's logging in. We got it. Betty from Indianapolis. Hello, Betty. You guys are amazing. You guys are amazing. Thank you so much. Thank you so much for logging in. Angelique, just so uh, Sandy, you know, I call you Sandy, but it's Sandra. Oh, that's okay. Sandra, but uh, An uh, Angelique is our Belgium fan club president. Oh, okay. So she, well, not Bel not Belgium, excuse me. We were in Belgium, but she's from uh, Netherlands. Okay. She lives in the Netherlands. And she's our fan club president. She handles all of our stuff from the Netherlands. Jimmy! I have to give a shout out to Jimmy. He's, uh, he's with us every, every week. Jimmy is the, the drummer and singer with uh, my player, my Ron Moss's player. Gotcha. For the last many years. Jimmy is an incredible drummer. He's an incredible singer. He's like a Frank Sinatra-ish uh, American songbook type singer. But uh, he says, hi, Tina. Hi, D. It's funny. Okay, you guys. Sandra Taylor. I just had her join us because I was having some technical difficulties and all getting logged in and all. But Sandra joins us. Where are you, Sandra? I'm right here. I'm in Los Angeles. No in Los Angeles, okay. Yeah. Uh, you've been locked down there for yeah. the last four months? Well, the last day I was at the restaurant that I'm the sommelier at in downtown LA was March 10th. So right after that is when it really... Everything like, closed down. So Sandra is a sommelier. Yeah. But before that... Sandra is also an actress and a model, but can I please forgive me, forgive me sure for uh, playing this. This is something very old. I hope you forgive me. You got it. It's, it's so cute. It's, we have a, uh, a, a talk show in, the Ameri in America, but it was something from way back and I'll only play part of it. I won't play all of it. Oh my gosh. Yes. I so I'll, I'll play it with the three of us in here. Okay. Okay, here we go. An actor. 
Oscars. It can be seen on the cover. Uh, also, the inside of July's of Playboy magazine. She'll be appearing in the movie Under Siege 2, Dark Territory, which opens next month. Please welcome Sandra Taylor. <laughs> Did I say it right? Is it Sandra or Sandra? Well, whichever. I like Sandra. Oh. But which is it? Is Pro it? Probably Sandra. <laughs> I don't oh, know. probably. Probably. On your birth certificate, there should be something pretty like It says Sandra. 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 <laughs> so it's S A N, so it's Sandra, but you like Sandra. Sandra, okay. okay. All right. Are you, are you a basketball fan as well? A huge basketball fan. Really? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Congratulations. You oh, did very well you. this year. Thank you very much. I'm sorry that we kind of took your Knicks out, but... I know. Well, actually, the Knicks aren't my favorite team. Who's oh. your favorite team? Um, Orlando. Oh, I know. I know him. Is it true? Well, oh, you know him? Yeah, I know him. Really? Yeah. <laughs> well, these are, so the, these are his shoes. I see. I know. <laughs> Oh, is it true? I don't know. <laughs> we are friends. Oh, you're your friend. Well, that's, that's fine. That's fine. But you, you play sports, too, don't you? Then every, yeah. On some, what are you on a softball team or something? The, uh... Yeah, I play on a co-ed softball league in all my spare time. Right. But mm -hmm. it's the, what's the name of your team? It's the Trashy Lingerie yeah, Softball Yeah, I play for team? Trashy Lingerie. So it's... that's a star here. <laughs> it's a wonderful store, but they have, you know... Trashy Lingerie. Well, I'm their best shopper, so they have me on the team. Now, what sort of uniforms does the Trashy Lingerie... I mean, I mean, imagine well, when you play against, like, the AT&T team, there's a slight advantage. Well, you know, actually, the uniforms are... They just give you a T-shirt, and it says Trashy Lingerie with your number, and sweatpants. I mean, it's a Oh, more... it's not, not a no. trashy... Oh, uh... how would we run like that? I, I... <laughs> trying to imagine that myself. Actually. No. <laughs> <laughs> Silly. But, but you're a car fan, too, you told me? Is that your... Yeah, Is that, is that what it is? That, that, that was you brought me from Calendar or something? Yeah, you know what? They said that this was your car, I thought. It's not your car? The no, 57? No, that's not mine, actually. No, that's oh. not my car. I, I would like to have my... It was my car. You can bet these girls wouldn't be sitting all over it. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> that's me! I know that, Joe. I know oh. that, that's you. Yeah, that's... I was, and you're the snap-on uh, person? Well, that was like in 1991 or something. Oh, now. yeah. Ten years ago. Way long ago. So how do you get it? Is that a whole separate area, being a, a, uh, a calendar? Well, it was a phase in my life. I yeah. did posters and calendars, and yeah. actually my poster was number one in the country for oh, three right? years. Yeah. So how do you get to be... I mean, is there an, I mean, how do you Well, get I made the transition. I was living in Manhattan, and yeah. I was modeling, and I moved out to L.A. And, um, you know, it just happened by, almost by accident. It wasn't anything that I really ever aspired. I was on Santa Barbara for a tiny bit. Oh, okay. I did some TV shows, and... Okay. I forgot about that. That's, I, I, I pulled that up just to not embarrass you, but we we have, we all have those things from the past and all. That's so sweet. That's so sweet. It was Devin, sweet. If, if people don't know, she has like a Johnny Carson of that same sort of thing. It's, it's, it's just, I love watching it. It's embarrassing to her. She watches that. It's probably embarrassing to you to watch all that from way back. But I, you know, I no. just wanted people, I just wanted people to know you were an actress before and all this. And now you are a major Somali. <laughs> Hey, you've gone to school, you've studied for all this, hey, which is brings us to Are you are you imbibing here or are you no? Me? Am I drink? No, it's uh it's only noon here. So I'm not <laughs> <laughs> No day drinking. <laughs> Well, it's uh, after nine o'clock at night for me. So you can you can? I did last night. We had some beautiful wines. Tell me about this transition from now. Let me give people every little uh, a history. Sandra was an actress for many many years, and you were a wonderful friend of a amazing director, producer, Gary Marshall. And he was very, very uh, true to you, and he put you in several movies and all that stuff. So, was that a great 
Was that a great thing for you? Did you love that? What what made you transition from that to sommelier? Well, it was actually right before I get past it. Um, you know, he was an angel in my put me in 12 movies. So we did more than a few. We did 12. And uh, he really believed in me. He thought I was funny and pretty. And he said that that was a very interesting combination and not very common. Um, and he just continually put in. He really thought that I had it. And uh, he was just so kind. And upon his passing, you know, he had always told me to have a plan B. And, you know, I wanted to do something that I was passionate about and something that I, that came innately. And ever since I've been very young, I had a great nose. I used to work behind a perfume counter and I could smell the women's perfume and know what it was before they even told me. I would say, oh, you're wearing fracas or you're wearing. So I knew my nose and my palate were very, very, um, just really on, on, on the mark. So. Yeah, I'm sure you could smell many, many, many things. That's Primitivo, yeah? See, you could smell that from there? You smell it from Los Angeles, yes. <laughs> the licorice <laughs> nose and the tobacco and cedar. I can smell it from here. Damn, Sandra, you're good. Um, good here, let me, let, me bring it, let me bring it closer. What, what else do you sense? Oh, cinnamon, tobacco, stewed tomatoes, How dried crack. Can you can you can you feel the asphalt? The I put limestone. asphalt in there. It's it's like Permitivo, I believe, is in limestone soil in Puglia. Um, it's a beautiful grape, very similar to ours in Vidal, California. I think it might even be the same grape. Um, but it's a beautiful. I can't wait to try your wine. Is it medium? I can't wait for you. It's a very strong. It's very strong. It's a sixteen percent. Wow. It's a very, very strong one, Primitivo. It's, uh, I'm very proud of that because it's just heavy, heavy, heavy. I like the heavier wines and right. it's, been my, it's been my passion. So, Is it sweet? No. Any sweetness to it? No, no sweetness. Sometimes Don't want sweetness. Gotcha. It's dry. We have a, we have a, uh, a white wine. We have another uh, medium primitivo, and we have a rosé. But no, I don't want sweet. No. Sweet it, wines for me don't work it. No, unless you're Sancerre or, you know, Sauterne. Sancerre? Sauterne. You're a little more experienced with all this than me. I just know my you know primitivos and all. I love your label too. I think it's beautiful with the guitar and the O being C. There it is. I love it. Love, love, love. You can love, see love. the guitar strings and Ooh. you can see through. Boom. Boom. Yeah. You can dark. see through the O just like a guitar. But I'm very, very proud of this wine. I can't wait for you to try it. Me too. Me too. So yeah, so Gary So said, tell me, yes, Gary Gary Marshall said to you. Have a plan B. Have a plan B. Yeah. So this is your plan B. This is something that's you've you've been, but you are you have a passion for it, obviously. Very much so. Very much so. I had um, gotten the opportunity to go to Barolo in Piedmonte, much north of you. And it was there, I think, that I really fell in love with wine and wanted to further my education and really take it seriously. So I threw myself into three different programs of wine studies, UCLA, North American Sommelier Association, and WSET, which is a big wine school here. And I decided to go with NASA, which is North American Sommelier Association. That's where I got my silver pin um, and became certified and then took courses at night at UCLA and um, just studied the world of wine and really thoroughly enjoyed it. But it was in Barolo Barbaresco that I really fell in love with wine. Really? Yeah. So you you are a real consumer. You really sample and try everything and you? All over the world. Wow. 
Mm-hmm. Love it. That's getting a lot of people. Are you traveling a lot? Well, not right now, but I was. I was traveling to in regions for wine, such as Tuscany, Piedmont, Napa. Those are the real, you know. I would love to go to Spain. Um, yeah. You guys having a party over there? They're, they, yes, they are. We have a, about eight different people from Puglia all over here right now, but that's okay. They're, they're fine. They're entertaining themselves. We have a few of the actors from the film that were in a film here called a surprise trip. Right. And, uh, my producing partner Tiziano is here and we're, this is his, uh, house that we stay in in Puglia. So we're, uh, we're having a little gathering of some new friends, some new Pugliese friends. Good. I'm I'm learning Pugliese. Pugliese is it's a very different dialect from Italian. Uh, it's we're going to use it in the movie. We're going to use Pugliese in English in the movie, but it's very traditional to the southern part of Puglia. For everybody who doesn't know where is Puglia, if you look at a map. Italy looks like a boot, a boot, a shoe, the heel. Well, the heel, the whole heel part is Puglia. It's on the west coast of Italy. On the opposite coast is Sicilia, off the shore of the east coast of Sicilia. Of, uh, of Italy is Sicilia. So it looks like the boot is kicking Sicily. <laughs> but um, we're in the boot, we're in the heel. We're in the heel right now. This is our this is one of our favorite places to be. It's just amazing here. It's very similar to California, actually. Yeah, that's very what similar. I heard. Climate is very, very similar in climate and yeah. temperature and what happens here and all. It's very similar. And it's wonderful. It's wonderful. We fall in love. Most people fall in love with Tuscany with the wines as well because of the upper region of Italy and all that. And we as well fell in love with those wines. But when you come to Puglia, everything gets a little heavier, a little heavier and more robust. Okay. We're across from Sicily which has the same latitude and stuff. So um, I fell in love with the wines of Puglia because it's just, we tested many different wines from the north to the south, and I fell in love with the south. There's something about the wines here that I'm sure you've studied this. You, you probably know a lot more than me about the Pugliese wines, but they're just amazing. I like the heavier wines. For me, I like the heavier wines. I know most people with my little moss wine that I'm starting and all, we just released a, uh, a white wine and a rosé and another Primitivo, a lower price point Primitivo. But there's something about the wines here in Puglia that's just amazing. Uh, do you have a favorite? Do you have a favorite of like a region somewhere in the world of what you have like grasp onto? Well, I'm really a fan of Bordeaux in France. Got it. Huge, Got huge it. Bordeaux. I mean, out of everything. I do love Tuscan wines. The Sangiovese grape is beautiful for me. I love the tannins. I love the texture. Um, but for me, French. I like Burgundy which is Pinot Noir when it's red and Chardonnay when it's white. And I like Bordeaux. I love the way they blend. You know, Bordeaux is always a blend of different, well, not always. Sometimes it's 100% Merlot if it's from uh, Pomerol. But a lot of times it's a blend of up to five grapes. And I just love what they do in France. That's probably my favorite. But Italy's a close second. We have a friend who we met who has the wine 
uh, he does all the the newsletter, the paper of Bordeaux. Okay. And he's he's actually Dutch, believe it or not, but he does the wine newspaper for all of the Bordeaux region. Wow. Huh. They moved there many years ago, and he told me the story. He has a wonderful little wine cellar. The wine cellar is the second story, actually, that he built in his place. We went and stayed with them. And he told me the story of, I said, how did you start in wine? I always want to know what starts people out in wine. And he told me the story of his great grandfather back in World War I. And he's the, 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 they're occupying France and the tanks are coming in and he goes, my grandfather, probably great 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 grandfather, buried the buried uh, an amount of wine in the backyard of their villa, whatever it was, before it was occupied. And years later, my friend Ronald dug up that wine, and there was a bottle in his collection that had no label. I said, what is that one? Why do you have that? And he told me the story. Because that was one of the wines that was buried underneath the tanks of the occupation after well, well after the fact. And it started him on his quest for loving wine. Wow. I went, wow, that's a, that's a heavy motivation right there. Mm. So... I have my own thing of loving wine. I, I won't go into that. I want to know yours. What started you to love wine? Well, going to Piedmonte through that charity um, that I got to go with this group. And, you know, just it was a wine tour. And I, I had no idea that that was going to be new passion. But when I went there and I saw the ro the hills and the, the, the lay of the land there, and I tasted the Rolo and the Barbaresco. I went to Gaia, a uh, producer there, or, uh, and I just fell in love. And everybody has an aha bottle. You know, I don't know if you have an aha bottle. They always say, what was I the, do. What was the I bottle do. you? Um, and so I just, I really got engrossed after the trip to Piedmonte and loved it. And with Gary's passing, you know, I, I think I just wanted maybe to take a break from the the Hollywood life and ho acting and auditioning. And, it, you know, auditioning is quite a grueling thing that nobody really ever talks about too much. But, I mean, you were on a series, so that's a blessing. But I was always doing feature films. So I was auditioning constantly and driving all over Los Angeles. And I just think I wanted a break. And when I threw myself into wine and the classes, started loving it more and more and more and more. And I never drank white. And then after class, now I'm the hugest fan of white. And uh, I just, I, I love the whole enneology about it, the viticulture, how the, the vines, go into the ground and crack through the limestone, you know, the limestone soil, limestone soil. Yes. And Lime <laughs> limestone, say that 10 times. Uh, I just love it. I love the way the vines take from the terroir. That's why like limestone has calcium in it and it will give the wine certain, certain nutrients. And I just love the science behind it as well as of course the taste. Um, but it was a good antidote to acting and a break from Hollywood. And then that whole Me Too thing movement came, and I was so glad to be out of it for a while. And uh, But that's not to say I'll never do it again. Um, then that's the good thing about both of these and wine is you could always go back into it. You know, it's never over until you say yeah. it's over. Yeah. I'm sure everyone wants you to. I hear, I see the text. No. They um, do. They do. They want, 
I just say that parking spot is filled right now, so it's not going to happen. I get it. Yeah. I Sorry. And I, why would I go? Why would I? I mean, what? It, it's just filled. It's, it's it, somebody else is there, and it's a different thing. I feel like my life has gone in a different direction. So. Yeah. Yeah. Well, me too. And I've really been enjoying it. And I. I Sweetie, want- where can people contact? Where? Yeah. I mean, you seem like you love it. You seem like it's yeah. a new passion, a new passion for the last many years, but it's a passion of yours. So where can people contact you? Well, I'm on Instagram, Sandra Taylor one, but I'm also, I have a S A N D R A Taylor, Sandra Taylor one at, at in at one. Well, the number one, cause Sandra Taylor was taken. So I'm Sandra Taylor. Okay. One. But then I also Sandra Taylor one on Instagram and that's the best place to, for people to find out what you do and where, where to go for all your stuff. Well, that's my personal. And then I have the Beverly Hills sommelier on Instagram as well. I have two separate. I don't know if you follow me on that. You have to follow Just me. give me the, give me the main one for everybody now watching us. They can follow you. It's called the Beverly Hills sommelier. The Beverly Hills Sommelier. Good luck with Sommelier. Look it up. S O M M E L I E. So, (laughs) yeah, and that's my little adventure page. And then the Sandra Taylor one is more my travels and personal stuff. It's pretty girly. Thank you, sweetie, for joining us tonight. Today for you. Yep, it's, uh, Do you hear? Can you hear the fireworks? Ew. There's a bunch of fireworks going off in the background here. Oh wow! Thank you, sweetie, for joining us. I love you. I miss you. We miss you. We can't come back to the U.S. for a while. You know, we're, Maybe we're waiting I'll... until. If you can come here, you can stay with us. Oh, thank you. I want to go to that restaurant you guys were at. It's like it's caves. Oh, that's you. You will not believe it. You will not believe it. They have some stuff here you will love. I'm going to take it. Sandy, thank you so much. I love you. I call you Sandy. I know you want to be Sandra, but I I, I have San, Sandy. You're, you're my Sandy. So. Thank you. I love you. I love you, sweetie. Be well. Enjoy your Sunday. You too. We'll talk soon. Okay. Love you. Bye-bye. All right, you guys. I'm going to bring in my friend Ian. Can I can I play something? I'm going to play something. I know he's probably going to be pissed off, but I'm going to play it first. It's from a long time ago. It's from a long time ago. This is one of those uh, shows. It's like a talent show thing i won't play all of it i'm just gonna play a little bit of this thing because this kid is so cool you yeah i think you guys will enjoy this so let me just play just a little snippet of this performance and i'll bring ian in here we go It's one of those things where they don't know what he's going to be and all that. It's like an America Got Talent type thing. It's probably been years since you've seen this, right? Here we go. Maybe too good to be true. Maybe to shy when the locals are coming by. Maybe to crafty to bruise. And I am floating away. I'm floating away. Maybe too true to be good. Maybe too proud of the beauty she shines out loud. Maybe too crafty to bruise. And I am floating away. 
Okay, Ian, come on in. Ian Thomas, he's, hello, my friend. Is your sound on? You sound. We'll figure out the sound. So my friends, this is Ian Thomas. He is, he'll figure out his sound. He'll get there eventually. Come in, come back. He'll come back. There's always technical shit. Ian is in Belgium. Uh, he's been a dear friend for a lot of years. He's the son of some very, very dear friends of mine that I've worked with. Okay, I'm gonna bring him back in. Yeah, I think we got him now. Okay, hold. There we go. Now we're in. Can you hear me? We got. Yes. Yes, we made it. We Hello, made it. We my made friend. It. Hello. It's been so. It's been a while, man. It's been so, too long. Yeah, I know. I know. And even now with the Corona times, I guess you're you're half Belgium now. <laughs> well, yeah, we are half Belgium. Oh we, my we, we, God. we just spent. We just spent. Uh, Four months, four months in Belgium. Wow. Where, where uh, we were, we were planning for two and a half months to work there and do yes, this yes. play, and all that. Yeah. but it turned into four because of all the bullshit stuff. Yeah, yeah, so yeah, yeah. here we go. How are you? I'm good, man. I'm, I'm right now. I'm at a barbecue uh, at a friend's house, so I'm, I'm having a good time tonight. And um, even the Corona like lockdown has. To me personally, it's been um, it's been an awakening experience. Really, it has been. I've just been able to spend a lot of time um, not having to be anywhere, not having to go to. When you're, I mean, I don't want to say like famous, but when you're famous, you get like invited to all these kinds of events, and you feel like you have to be everywhere. So, Corona to me has really like the lockdown. <laughs> has been very like relaxing to me and i've been really focusing on making music and just getting back with myself so you don't have to be anywhere you can chill out and just yes but where are you where where are you are you in Amsterdam? where antwerp, are you in belgium antwerp right now antwerp. antwerp okay you're in antwerp yes yes, yes. um very cool very yeah, cool yeah. how how was how 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 was the stay in belgium how did the people treat you here did you enjoy it we or actually you loved it no, we actually loved it. Devin and I really loved it. Being, I got to say, I'm in Italy now. Yeah. And I I love, <laughs> I love Italy, but it was much better oh. being in Belgium. Okay. Much okay. better being in Belgium. I'm glad we got locked down. In Belgium. I'm not, not glad we got locked down, but I'm glad we were in Belgium. We made it over here in time yeah, into yeah. Belgium. And uh, it was fine. It was great. We had uh, we had bicycles. We could go and if you guys don't, if you guys around the world, Belgium and the Netherlands are, are amazing bicycle countries. You go yes. everywhere in bicycles. It's so cool. So during the lockdown, I could still go out and bicycle. It was a savior for me. Yeah. Literally, Ian, it was a spiritual savior. Of course. If I couldn't go out. And do that, I probably would have, you know, just yeah, yeah, yeah. Cut, cut, cut. Yeah. I it was so 
It was it was great, and I and we after after a month, Devin and a great eating together. We'll 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 hang out. We'll do some stuff. We'll do all our stuff, our creative stuff, my music stuff, and all. But after a couple of months, we were able to go and hang out with a couple of uh, Belgian friends in Antwerp. Nice. We were in Antwerp. Yeah. We would go and hang out with them and socialize, even though we weren't really supposed to do that. But you know, yeah, it's yeah, only yeah. two couples, right? Of course, of course. So, Antwerp is one of the biggest cities. Diamond in Belgium. City. It's known as Diamond City. It's actually where it's I was one of the biggest in. sort of active cities in Belgium. It's really cool. Now, uh, I mean, after uh, two months, we went to Dehan. You know Dehan? Yeah, yeah. It's uh, next to the coast. It's the coast, right? Right, right. right. It's like a little sea town, a little sea coast town. So that was very cool. Two months in Antwerp, two months in Dehan. Yeah, man. But you, okay, let me let me just give a little preface of how do we know each other. Um, yeah, you tell you no, you tell him. Go ahead. You tell. No, him. I think I'm curious. Your I'm you curious your first definition. Time, the first time I met you was actually through um, a journalist. He he was someone who brought it, it was actually at your house and uh, Devin cooked dinner for us, and um, someone we mutually. His name is knew. Vic Vic Dennis. Yes. Vic Dennis. Yes. Yes. So and keep we, going. We came over to your house. We had a wonderful dinner, and um, we immediately, you know, we 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 linked, you know. Either it works or it doesn't work, and um, I, I mean it worked, you know. So um, you were a young kid. That's true. You that's were true. a young kid. I'm still young. I mean, I feel like, <laughs> I feel like, it, like time flies so fast, man. Like I'm 23 right now. Like I'm becoming an adult. Oh my god. I'm like I have responsibilities, and um, it's been. Like, I know it's what's happening to, to the world. Yeah, I know, right? <laughs> Right, it's a crazy hectic time, and I was actually coming back to um, Los Angeles this summer, but uh, oh yeah, because I haven't like um, quick for everyone who doesn't know, I lived in um, California for almost four years, me, um, and now I haven't been back to the states in I would say almost two years. So I was really looking forward to going back to California, see all my friends, and um, yeah, yeah, check in as usual but now yeah corona has uh, has changed the plans i guess but i'm still yeah change the plans for everything yeah, change yeah, the plans yeah. for everything so your stepfather yes uh was a friend that i met in belgium through that, that same uh, journalist vic yes. dennis yes, yes, yes. and your your stepdad and i did a lot of stuff he he's a popular singing artist yeah. in belgium as well and uh we've so you came over to our house and we met and it's been from we there went from there yeah 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 basically how's your mom how's your mom my mom's really doing good my mom's good she's um she um she's actually a psychologist right now she studied for that she got her degree really and she's helping um a lot of older women especially women who have like been through divorce um a lot of things my mom has experienced in her own life so she's kind of like focusing on um on, on healing those people helping those people heal and cool, apart cool. from that they're all like my whole family is still in entertainment business so like yes they people, are you know they're always they're always working on projects they're always doing something whether it's musical theater um tv soap operas we're always we're always doing that like there's no way around it. so uh ian's ian's stepfather is on a uh, was on it for oh, many family. years a yes. family called family it's a very popular show in belgium yes the equivalent of bold and beautiful but in belgium right yeah so uh we and chris is also his his stepdad is also a musician and you you my friend ian can i tell you how proud i am of you man you're gonna make me blush <laughs> i'm very i'm very proud of you i've known you since a few years, years younger man. yeah yeah a few years younger and you i'm very proud of you i'm very proud of what you do you've been still, through a lot of stuff yeah man I'm, and i'm still trying to find my way you know what i'm saying but like hey so am i yeah, so am i i'm still right? trying to find my way <laughs> At my that's age, the beauty, and that's the beauty in it. That's the beauty in it. 
I'm still trying to find my way in all this stuff. So you you never really stop finding your way because you have many ways. So don't don't sweat it. Yeah, man. You know, you're doing fine. You're doing fine, my friend. I would love to play you a little song if that's okay. That would be great. I would love that. That would be wonderful. I hope I hope the sound is cool, like with the MacBook and everything. It's on. It is what it is. It is what it is. But I think it'll be cool. I think people will appreciate. Everybody will appreciate. Okay. Help again. This is Ian Thomas playing. What What's the name of the song? It's something I'm writing right now. So. It's, it's not like, even finished. Nah, it's it's an idea. Okay, cool. How cool is that? Yeah. Wonderful. Uh, yeah, okay. <laughs> That's great. Very pure. Ian, thank you so much, my friend. Man. I hope we can see you soon. I know. And it our paths will cross, man. We will. And we'll we'll have some of that moss wine. <laughs> we'll have- when are you planning to go to LA? When uh, when as soon as you can like travel? Exactly. Yeah. I was going okay. uh, I was going in July. I was going the 17th till somewhere in the beginning of August, but that's yeah. happening. So I guess I'm hoping, unless a second wave happens, um, <laughs> I'm hoping, man, September, somewhere around September, October, around that time. I hope I'll, I'll be able to make my way back. Devin, my wife Devin says, <laughs> that's so Cool, Ian. Please say hello to your mom and your sister. I will do. I will make sure I do that, and I'll give them a hug as well. I'll add that. Please do. We we miss you guys so much. Thank you for joining us, my friend. I hope to see you. Yes, we'll see. I hope to see you. Let's keep in touch, and uh, let's do it again and do some more stuff. I would love to maybe organize a concert or something with you. I'm getting really good at producing music as well, apart from like just singing it i'm i'm getting really good at like the instrumental side of it so if you're ever looking for anything man give me a call or whatever send me a message i'll, I'll happily make you something 
<laughs> I love it. I love you, my friend. Love Be you, well. Man. Thank you for having me. And uh, yeah, I'm, I'll catch you soon. I'll catch you real soon. Enjoy, enjoy your Sunday evening from the same time as me. Cheers, cheers, cheers. Ian, say hi to your mom and your sister for me. Will do, bro. And your, your stepdad. Okay. Will do. Bye-bye. Love you. Bye. Love you, man. Ciao, ciao. Love you, love you. All right, you guys. So, so wonderful. I love, it. it's kind of the only way we can communicate. <laughs> Sorry. I'm all choked up. It's the only way we can communicate with all of our friends in different places. It's like we can't travel to do anything very much. Uh, you know, I've gotten where I don't even want to travel. I've gotten where I don't want to travel, which is pathetic. It's pathetic. I want to, I want to go to different places, but I it's traveling has gotten so It's gotten so crazy. I don't want to travel. Devin wanted to go to Sardinia and I went, "Yeah, but we have to fly. We have to travel. A 1-hour plane flight is going to turn into 5 hours of travel time." It's like and I don't know. So anyway, but we must, <laughs> that said, we must remain positive. We got to keep a positive spirit about all the crap that's going on. Okay, let me go with this to Brian. Be because everybody talks with each other. Ella is Ella Luna. Ella Luna and I did a music video. Many of you know it already called Dreaming in Color, and it's wonderful. You can go to uh, Dev, uh, YouTube Devron Films, D-E-V-R-O-N-N -E -N, Films, and see the uh, music video that me and Ella Luna did for this song called Dreaming in Color. I'm really proud of it. It's really wonderful. Ella, you are the sweetheart. You are such a sweetheart. She is a wonderful, uh, she's Belgian, but she sings in French. Imagine that. She sings wonderfully in French. And she taught me some French to sing the song. So we have some, both French and English. Uh, so I love you, sweetie. Thank you so much. Believe it or not, this song, Dreaming in Color, is going up the charts in Belgium now. We started at number 15. I don't know where it is now. But it's on a lot of, uh, it's on a rotation of play now in Belgium. And we're hoping that it goes to France and all that stuff. So there we go. But so check it out. Dreaming in color. We love you guys. Keep positive in this crazy ass world of ours. Ah, God. Stuff is coming down, guys. Stuff is coming down. I try to keep out of my social media with all my feelings about everything, but stuff is coming down. And it's going to be good. It's going to be good. I must say, it's going to be good. So I love you uh, I love you all and thank you for joining us I see everybody in here Pam Antonella Patricia Angelique this is so much fun every Sunday thank you Angelique thank you sweetie Daniela always thank you I, I love you guys that you join where we you join us every Sunday and just a reminder my wife Devin Every Thursday at six o'clock here in Belgium. So it's uh, nine o'clock in the morning in the USA, 12 o'clock Eastern Standard Time. But six o'clock in Europe, she does her cooking show, Devon's Kitchen. So every Thursday now, go to Devon's, Devon's YouTube slash Devon's Kitchen. And you'll see uh, 
my lovely wife doing a kitchen show cooking with people from all over the world so there we go patricia pam daniela lucas brian brian thank you so much for joining us brianna maria you guys are awesome thank you so much i love you all i'm going to get to my italian friends waiting outside for us we have a wonderful uh, group of people from the film surprise trip that we're going to uh, be filming in uh, i want to say septiembre september uh here in uh, puglia so i love you guys be well be positive in <laughs> this crazy ass world oh my god i have to keep my opinions about shit to myself sometimes because i can get too much into it i love you guys next sunday come and join us love you